Hello everybody, I'm going to be showing you how I restored this 2003 Formal Funk Chloe. She's in good condition with the exception of this gnarly haircut. Also, don't mind my hands, my cat scratched me right before I wanted to film. This is a toy I got second hand, so I'm going to give her a quick cleaning using basic liquid hand soap and a toothbrush. I'm cutting what remains of her hair off super close to her head so that I can do a reroute. Once her hair is cut off, I'm going to dip her in boiling water to make her head soft and easier to remove. My doll has a small split in her neck, so I need to be mindful of that when pulling her head off. I use a towel to hold her head because it's hot and I don't want to burn myself. I just give it a quick pull and her head comes off pretty easily. Using tweezers while her head is still squishy, I go through the neck hole and use the end of the tweezers to pull the plugs out with a scraping motion. I actually gave up using the tweezers and used something with longer reach. I then pull the old plugs out of her head through the neck hole. It's kind of gross, but it's also really satisfying. Once she's all clean of her old hair, she's ready for her reroute. Here's all her old plugs. I also pulled out the plastic tag that used to hold her in a box. It drives me crazy when I get a second hand doll and these things are sticking a mile out of the doll's head. I am using Platinum Blonde Ceram by the Doll Emporium. I bought a large 50 gram and a standard 12.5. I didn't actually need that much hair and the 50 gram alone would have been enough. I cut the hank in half because it's way too long as it is. This is why I only needed 50 grams. The reroute tool I'm using is a needle and an X-Acto blade handle with the eye cut into a little hook shape. I sprayed down the hair with water and combed it through. This makes it easier to work with during the reroute. Rats heads can be tricky to reroute as they're really hard. I recommend heating it up with a hairdryer every so often and pushing a push pin into the hole before you stab the needle into it to prevent breaking your needle. I take a few hairs and wrap them onto the needle and stab it into the head and do this a hundred more times and the reroute is done. I just added some waterproof glue into the neck hole to secure the plugs on the inside of the head. Then I reattached her head to the body by heating up the head with a hairdryer and pushing it over the neck peg. I gave the hair a quick boil wash with some fabric softener. This is the one I use, but any of them will do. I took extra care in separating the front pieces of her hair. This will become her fringe later. I did a comb through of her hair and then gave her a haircut to get rid of the straggly ends. Then after styling, it looks like this. I tried cutting her shorter bits in the front of the ponytail. I fixed it a bit at the end because I didn't end up liking it. Next I'm going to be recreating her missing corsage. I'm using a small piece of elastic and these mini roses I found at a local craft store. This is really easy to make. I just hand sewed one blue rose and one white rose to the elastic and then stitched it good side to good side. That part was a little tricky and I cut the excess off. I then burn the ends with a lighter to prevent it from fraying.
I was lucky that she came with her original gloves. One does have a small hole in it, but that's fine. I just cut the loose thread off and stitched the whole clothes with a matching thread color. She came to me with her original top, but I am missing the skirt. I bought two types of black tulle, a stiffer one for the bottom layer and a more flowy one for the top. I am no sewing expert, so this is not a tutorial, it's just how I made it. I turned my sewing machine to its longest stitch width and sewed a long gathering thread along the top of some long rectangles of tulle. I did this for two of the stiff tools and four of the lighter ones. I then gathered the tulle by pulling on the bottom threads. I stacked the layers of tulle with the stiffer one underneath and sewed them down to a black lining fabric. I used this velour black fabric to make the waistband for the skirt that matches her top. I then sewed up the back and added some velcro and it turned out like this. Not a perfect recreation, but I think it's a good replacement. Now I'm going to be making her missing scarf. I bought this sheer black ribbon from the craft store. I used a blue scarf to measure the right length and cut it to size. I hemmed the two raw edges, then folded the ribbon in half and ironed it down. I bought these bulk earrings from AliExpress. They'll be linked in the description as well as all the other accessories I bought. This necklace is cute, but it's too bulky, so I'm cutting the middle part out of the necklace and using a two-part epoxy glue to glue the two sides together. This yellow headband is meant for Barbie, so it's too small for brats. I'm going to stretch it out by placing it in boiling hot water. Taking care not to burn myself, I bent it wider while the plastic was hot. I then set the plastic by putting it in ice cold water. I painted it black with basic acrylic paint. I did two coats. Then, to make the headband look like glossy plastic again, I painted a glaze over it. I did one coat. With the addition of her accessories, she is now done. Thanks so much for watching!